been seen by primary care in a year. We will call out to that patient. If they're assigned to your practice, we will call as your practice. Our caller ID shows up with your practice name on it. Yes, we can do that. So the patient is going to do what? They see the doctor's office call, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Let it go to voice? No, they're going to answer the phone. Why is my doctor's office calling? And we say, hi, it's Pam calling on behalf of Dr. Weber's office. We see you haven't been in in a year. We'd really like to see and scheduling for your wellness exam. You know that's covered by Medicare every year. So how about we schedule you next week? Oh, sure. That's just one example. Now, what have we just done? What have we just done? Have we reinforced a relationship? Yeah? What else have we done? Anybody, come on. What else have we done? Right, got them back in so you can see them, see what's going on and talk to them. Right? What else have we done? Cha-ching. 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 Okay, it's a little done. You can bill for that, right? Fee-for-service revenue. We're still in that model. We're still in that world. Okay, so take advantage. What else can you do? What else does it do? My question is when Okay, well, you know what? Write it down. We're going to hold questions because there is going to be a lot about how, how we do things. Let me get through this, and it might get answered, but then we'll uh, have a Q&A session after this. Thank you. So I'll talk a little bit more about what that patient advocate does. That was just one example. And then practice support, having somebody in the field that talks to you and your office staff about the programs that we're doing and why we're doing them and what the opportunity is, is really important. So this guy here, Chris, and I want to talk more about him in a second, is the one that talks to you in the field here in Southern California where he lives about our process. He's the communications and the liaison so that you know what is happening what is being driven from the ACO into your ACO patient population. So these people, these patient advocates, you know, they're really trained to be empathetic. They're not all clinical people. We do have nurses on staff, LPNs on staff, for certain types of patient outreach, like a discharge to home. We want that work done by a nurse. But 90%, 95% of what we do in the call center and doing patient outreach is non-clinical. It's just communication. It's just saying, hey, we haven't seen you in a year. Come on in. We're not doing triage. We're not doing clinical. That's your job. We're just doing outreach based on the data. The data is what drives our activities. 